Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie. I am a full-time online reseller and I sell on Poshmark. My Poshmark closet name is Fairy Girl Finds. Today's video is gonna be the first of many weekly videos that I plan to put up every Wednesday called What Sold Wednesday. In these videos, I'm gonna go over everything that sold in the past um, week on Poshmark. And this week, I sold over $1,400 in gross sales. So if you wanna see what sold and how I did it, keep watching. Before we get started, I just wanted to give you a heads up. All of my information is written down on a piece of paper and I have my laptop in front of me as well. So I will be looking down often just to read off the numbers to you. So let's go. This is for the week starting March 21st to March 27th. I'm running this from Monday to Sunday and I cut it off at 11.59 p.m. on the Sunday. So March 27th, any sales that came in after that are not gonna be part of this video. Okay, so let's get started. So Monday, March 21st, I sold seven items. And the first item that sold, you'll look over here on the screen, I'm gonna be putting pictures up of everything, what it sold for and what my earnings were, just so you can see I'm not making these numbers up. First thing that sold is Land and Sea Pale Yellow White Gray Blue Striped Nautical Wide Leg Linen Pants in a size extra large. They sold for $24 and I earned, after fees, um, $17.48. Then I sold a pair of Prada VPR-53N half frame prescription lens eyeglasses. I said in my previous video how I've been selling glasses lately. Here's your proof. Uh, they sold for $60 and after fees, I earned $46.28. Then I sold the Brooks Ravena, um, the Ravena 9, sorry. Um, pink and purple white running sneakers, women's size 10. They sold for $30 and I earned $24 after fees. Then I sold a new without tags, handmade vintage flower, cute little wallet. It ended up selling for $15 and after fees, I got 12. Then I sold a polo Ralph Lauren, Lauren, it's Lauren. <laughs> I've learned that later in life. And that's how I would pronounce Lauren, but everybody called it Lauren. Anyway, Polo Ralph Lauren, red American flag with the horse patch crew neck tee in a men's size extra large. It sold for $22 and I earned $15.88. And then I sold a Colhan yellow leather and tan straw um, bucket tote. It sold for $30 and I got 24. And then the last sale for the 21st was new without tags, US Polo, um, purple, silver, black gradient, non-prescription, this is such a long title, sunglasses. <laughs> they sold for $12 and after fees, I get $9.05. So that was Monday, uh, the 21st. Now for Tuesday, the 22nd, I sold this, I had three sales, and the first sale was a Christian Dior makeup cosmetic pouch. It was, I showed that in a previous video when I had a haul. It was so cute. Um, that sold for $36. I got $27.08. Then I sold a Coach Bleaker Floral Applique um, iPad cover. It was a cute little tan iPad cover with a cute little floral thing on it. Um, sold for 30, I get 24. And then the last sale for the 22nd was a Coach Black and Gray Signature Canvas Leather Trim Wristlet. It sold for $20 and I get $14.28. Now we're moving on to Wednesday, the 23rd. So the 23rd, I had six sales. The first one was a Versace large hard shell sunglass case. It sold for 22 and I get 1760. Then I sold these adorable Zara's um they were like a gold metallic lightning bolt high top sneaker. They were so cute. Um they sold for 35, I get 28. 
Then I sold a pair of brand new Lucky Brand Alanya um, beige flats. They're like a nude beige blushy color. They're really pretty. They sold for 25 and I get 20. Then I sold a vintage Dooney and Burke duck embossed camel tan leather. Very long title, adorable um, satchel handbag that sold for $65 and I got 52. Then I sold a pair of Ugg Chestnut Suede Classic Tall Boots. They ended up selling for $110 and I get $86.28. And the last item for the 23rd was a rare vintage Dooney and Burke cute little white leather wristlet. It sold for $22 and I get $15.88. On the 24th, I sold four items. And the first item that sold was Free People 11 inch high rise acid wash um, jeans, pants. They had some stretch to them too. They're really cute. They sold for 30, I get 22, 28. Um, then I sold these Retro Super Future Brown Tan Tortoise non-prescription sunglasses. They sold for $71 and I get $55.08. Uh, then I sold a Madewell Mid-Rise Dark Blue Denim Leggings in a size 28. They sold for $25 and I get 20. And the last item that sold for the 24th was a Tory Burch Burgundy Maroon Plum Red. I couldn't describe the color, so I just put every color that I thought it would pull up as a search in. That's another little tip I'll tell you. Just put every color you think it might get searched by if you're not sure of the color. Because it is all of those shades, but somebody might search for burgundy and you put maroon. So put both of them because then it'll pop up. Uh, this beautiful wallet actually sold for $71 and I got $55.08. So then on the 25th, I had three sales. The first sale was a pair of Tom's slip-on black flats. They sold for $25. I get $18.28. And then I sold a, these are so cute. Um, they were literally like new. I think, I don't even know if they were worn, but there were no tags. So I couldn't clarify that. So I said like new, uh, vintage apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Anyway, don't get me started. I'll sing the whole song. Um, they sold for $40 and I get 32. Um, and the last thing that sold on the 25th was this Ralph Lauren, a uh, black nylon drawstring flap backpack. It's sold for 35 and I get 28. On the 26th, I had nine sales. So I'm gonna try to go through these pretty quickly. First up was a lounge fly Hello Kitty black patent quilted leather mouthful uh, zip around wallet. It sold for 35 and I get 28. Then I sold J Crew. These were so cute. They were also in a haul video, if you remember, in a previous video I did. They were so cute. I think they were, they weren't the President's Day haul. It was the big haul before that. Um, but they are J Crew leopard calf hair leather pointed flats, pointed toe flats. So cute. They sold for thirty eight, and I get twenty eight sixty eight. Then I sold an Under Armour black, gray, and white graphic design mid sports bra. It sold for $15. I get 12. Then I sold this rare Sam Edelman black and white stripe beaded Ezra fringe bag, which was so cute. Like when you shook it, it was almost reminded me of like a flapper. You remember the flapper dancers from, I have no idea, 40s, 30s, 50s, one of those eras. So cute. It just it was adorable. Sold for 27. I get 21.60. Then I sold an Adidas men's burgundy soccer jersey, which was in my last haul from the um, President's Day sale. I didn't sell for much, so note to self, don't buy these. Um, <laughs> it was sold for 10 bucks, big whoop, and I get uh, $7.05. So that wasn't a huge ROI, but it, it's still a profit, so I will take it. Next up, I sold a vintage Dooney & Burke signature canvas beige tan leather wristlet. It sold for $27, and I get $19.88. Then I sold this new Tiffany & Company um, soft shell aqua sunglass case. So cute. Um, it sold for $24 and I get $17.48. Then I sold a Tory Burch 
brown leopard and gold accent large sunglasses case. It's a soft shell. Those are so cute. They're huge. They hold those like really big oversized Tory Burch sunglasses. Perfect for summer. Um, sold for 16. I get 1108. Uh, then I sold a bundle. Uh, someone came in and bought three different um, Nike, two Nike and one Adidas uh, just like a, like a active shirt, just plain. They were really nice. It sold for, well, what's the whole bundle? The sun, the sundle, the bundle <laughs> sold for $37 and I got $27.88. Then that was it for the 26th. And on the 27th, which was Sunday, I sold nine more items. <laughs> so here we go. I sold a pair of Fit Flop Blizz winter snow boots, which for the record, I didn't even know Fit Flop made boots. I thought it was literally just flip flops, but you learn something new every day. Um, they sold for $50 and I get 40. Then I sold a pair of these Coach Ellis brown and khaki tan high top sneakers. So cute. They sold for $59 and I get $47.20. Then I sold a pair of Gucci red and green. Um, these are prescription lens sunglasses. And I do note that in the listing. So the buyer is aware you have to replace the lens when you get them because they're prescription sunglasses. So they just pop them out, get a pair of plain sunglass lenses and pop them in. They're good to go. These sold for $46 and I got $35.08. Normally I would have gotten more, but since they're prescription lens kind of a pain in the butt to have to do that unless you already have prescription sunglasses and you're used to it the the, the buyer audience for that or the buyer uh what do we call it um demographic is a lot smaller when it's a prescription lens they're not just like regular sunglasses and everybody would want them <laughs> all right so anyway um then i sold a pair of ugg boots they're the ugg bailey 1873 triple button black tall suede leather boots um, they sold for 75 and I get 60 Then I sold this very rare Lucky Brand. Again, I put like every color. Red, burgundy, and maroon. Those are the colors. I, I didn't know what to call it. Um, it was actually a goat leather jacket. It was so cute, so nice. It sold for $50 and I get 40 Then I sold a Columbia Men's Short Sleeve Button Down Plaid Khaki Oatmeal. <laughs> plaid Khaki Oatmeal. See right there? I didn't want to call it tan or beige because it wasn't quite tan it wasn't quite beige so i said khaki oatmeal it worked um it sold for 15 i get 12. um then i sold this beautiful sterling silver 925 stamped coastal it looked like a little wave this ring it was so pretty sold it was a size eight too should have kept it but i sold it um it sold for 25 dollars, and i get 20. then i sold a pair of sam edelman rose gold pink tan again with the colors um these adorable like shimmer flip-flops sandals they sold for 22 I get 15.88 and then the last item that sold this week was a new vintage adorable it is adorable mini it was so tiny you can see in the pictures if you look it up it was literally like this big <laughs> it was so cute it's a little change purse uh it was like a pastel yellow peach aqua robin's egg blue floral striped adorable little thing that I literally almost cut for myself and I'm like let me just see how it does it sold in like two days this thing was so freaking cute uh it sold for 16 and I get 1108 so that brings my total gross sales for the week to one thousand four hundred and forty two dollars and zero cents my net after fees is one thousand one hundred and fifty three dollars and sixty cents that number does not include cost of goods or taxes that I do keep aside for tax time. So if you want to know how I did it and how I was able to generate sales daily, please subscribe to my channel and check back for part two of this video because I will go over all of the tips and tricks of what I use every single day to become successful on Poshmark, to grow my business and generate daily sales on Poshmark. Now I am giving you a heads up this week was a really good week. Um, it was about average, a little bit above average for me. Um, there are going to be weeks that I report in on what sold Wednesday and they're going to be lower or they're going to be higher. So I'm excited to share this with you and hopefully I can 
give you some motivation or hope that it can be done it will be done and you can do it too and if you like what you saw in today's video please give it a thumbs up you feel free to subscribe to my channel it helps the channel grow and i put new videos out every week and sometimes a couple times a week depending on my availability thanks again for watching and i will see you in part two to go over all of the tips and tricks on how you can be successful at Poshmark as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.